Hello everyone, welcome back to the MathMind channel. In today's video, we are looking at a quadratic equation involving an extremely large number. If we try to solve it using conventional methods, it's going to be very tedious if not downright impossible. So we are going to be exploring a shortcut. As always, you're welcome to give it a try. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's take a look at this number. There are 16 digits in total, 8 digits in red, and 8 digits in blue. I have used two different colors to separate this number into two components that I'm going to be working on. If you look at this number, there are 8 ones and there are 8 twos. Obviously, these two parts are connected. Let's first deal with the red color ones. There are a total of 8 of them. So, what we are going to do is we are going to let A be equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And if we do that, then the part in blue will be 2A. Equal to 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. With this substitution, let's go ahead and express this number in terms of a. Let's first copy it down. So I have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, is equal to A multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 plus 2A. And so we are going to try to factorize this quadratic function in terms of A. But first, we need to look at how to deal with 10 to the power of 8. If we look closely at 10 to the power of 8, we can actually express that as 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 plus 1. And if we do that, this part right here can actually be expressed in terms of A. I can call this 9 times 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And with this being a, I can now rewrite 10 to the power of 8 as 9a plus 1. We're now ready to write our quadratic equation in terms of a. So now I have x squared plus x equal to a multiplied by 9a plus 1 plus 2a which is then equal to 9a squared plus a plus 2a and that's equal to 9a squared plus 3a I have x squared plus x equal to 9a squared plus 3a that means x squared plus x is equal to 3a 3a plus 1, which means x squared plus x minus 3a, 3a plus 1 equal to 0. We can try to solve this equation using the quadratic formula. So if we do that, then I have x equal to minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 minus 3a 3a plus 1 divided by 2 if you look at this square root right here I think it's going to be quite complicated to deal with so let's go with a different method instead of using the quadratic formula let's try to factorize this expression so what I have now is x x 3a plus 1 minus 3a so now this becomes 3ax plus x minus 3ax so I'm left with x in other words our expression is it can be written as x plus 3a plus 1 multiplied by x minus 3a that's equal to 0 so now I have x 
plus 3a plus 1 equal to 0, x is equal to negative 3a plus 1. Or x minus 3a equal to 0, x is equal to 3a. Keep in mind our a is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So from here I have x is equal to negative 3 multiplied by 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1. So that's equal to negative 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4. Or x is equal to 3 times 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. That's equal to 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. And these are our answers. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.